Learn how to make an animated GIF for your online advertisements. Here are some tools you'll need. Adobe Photoshop. I'll be using the CS3 version and some basic knowledge of Photoshop and HTML. You can begin creating your animation by first opening the Photoshop file you would like to use. For this particular animation, I'll be creating a graphic for my MySpace for thanking people for adding me on their MySpace, but you can still use these tips for pay-per-click, um, to create an ad for pay-per-click, or to just create an ad to advertise your services on your website. To get a better feel of the layers that we will be working with for this graphic, um, I'll just go through some of the layers, turn a couple on and off, so you can just get a feel of, of what we'll be working with. And as we finish things up, let's get going by clicking on Window, then Animation. By bringing up the animation box, we are able to edit our animations through each individual frame. The way this animation will work is by duplicating the first frame many times and changing it a little bit with every step as we go. Next, click the button next to the little trash can in order to duplicate the selected frame. Now I will edit this frame by clicking on the text layer that says Hey There. Duplicate the second frame and continue to make other layers visible depending on the effect that you want. I want to create an effect of making text go from blurred to clear by first unhiding the blurred text layer, duplicating the frame, hiding the blurred text layer, then unhiding the layer that has the text clear. After duplicating this selected frame, I'm going to move on to my next text layer area that says from your online pal. Unhide this layer, duplicate the frame, and just to add a little bit more emphasis on specifically the word POW, I'm going to have it change from the color white to green. After the initial frames are done for creating an animation with the text that's given, I'm going to select all of these text layers and then hide them so that I can begin to now work on a transition effect of going from the text layers to an image of a caricature of myself. I will continue the same duplicate and edit process as I did originally with the text layers before, but when I am done, I'm going to include an extra frame that has the original orange background on it. Tweening frames creates the transition frames in between two edited frames. That way, you come off with a more seamless animation effect. While holding down the shift keys, select two frames and press tween. Enter a number and press OK. The tweening effect now created more frames in between the two that you originally selected to make the animation more seamless. Continue to tween in between the main frames that you had originally created until you are done. To add a little bit more emphasis on certain frames, I'm going to choose a couple of frames and have each one of them delay by a couple of seconds. Some may be for one second, others may be for two. It all depends really on your personal preferences. At any point during creating this GIF, you can preview your animation by simply clicking on the play button. Now it looks a little slower than this actually in real life because of the way my screen recorder is acting. But um, once you are done and you are happy with the result, go to File and Save for Web Devices. Preview your animation again if you'd like 
and then save as a GIF file. Upload the file to your website or another file sharing website such as Flickr or MySpace. Paste the HTML coding with the link of the GIF animation source onto the website of your choice. Here's a template as an example. And you're done. Thanks for watching.